Yo, welcome to the channel. Today we've got episode two of Andor. What up? Now the first episode was really cool. I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of setup, uh, but it was really cool to be back in this world. It was really cool to be back with Cassian, and I'm excited to see just more of this story grow. I think Cassian's such a great character, and I'm ready to get back into the, his story. Rogue One was such a small chunk. I'm really excited to expand. I'm ready to get into this episode and see more. So if you want to see more of these reactions, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And let's get into Andor. Coolest intro. Well, this and Marvel. 1A and 1B. I don't know which one's 1A. Oh, what is that thing? A little weird little space gecko. Alright, so what, what was that that fell out of the sky? I think it was a transport. But, what was it transporting? Or who? Is this like an old base? Whole mining operation. Whoa. Abandoned. What were they taken out of there? Were they already mining Kyber at this point? Hit me with the beat. DJ Khaled. Takes his job very seriously as the bell ringer. Oh, is that like the work bell? Okay. What exactly are they doing? Are they, is that... Are they like mining on this planet then? Lock up the back, I'll take care of all this. Thank you. Yep. Is he gonna follow her again? Oh. Oh, is he gonna call him then? What's he gonna do? Carlo, stop, 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 stop. There's something I don't even know. Bubba Bix. Bix has nothing Bu to do with it. Bix. Who told me? Bubba Bix. Where is she? Took a contact from the trouble because of calculating rerouting. Lucian. He's out of juice. What have you done? What have you done? Who did he tell that he was from Canari? I messed up. Oh, the lady at the, at the establishment. He told her, okay, so it was her? Two guys jumped. How far is too far? All the way far. I'll tell you the piece. I just need enough to get out of here. He's coming. The buyer's coming. Who's the buyer? Who is the buyer? Somebody's watching. Not good. Oh, it's Timima. Oh, he's going to do something stupid, isn't he? Don't do it, Timima. What is that terminal? Oh, okay. Like a phone booth, basically. Yep. Flat top. So she is the one that told them. You alright? I am not. It's gonna be a Star Wars sexy time. It's gonna be a sexy time in a Star Wars. <laughs> Stupid. If I may, so, hats off to you and Chief Inspector. Two men dead. Line of duty. Colleagues, sub -rages. Yeah, but he shouldn't be doing it. I've been saying all along we need a stronger hand with these affiliated planets. So he's just gonna feed the feed the beast. Pockets of fermenting, and the best way to keep the blade sharp is to use it. Well, he just got uh, justification to do it. But what is gonna happen when the dude gets back? The chief inspector guy gets back. Who is she? Is she like his mom? Like a foster mom or something? Oh, it's an Imperial something? Was oh, this that unit that he had? The S NS9 something? So is it like an Imperial transponder? Maybe not a transport. I feel like there'd be at least some people around, right? If it was. So maybe cargo? Oh, don't die. Wait, that smoke wasn't there a second ago. Where'd that come from? Hmm. 
Ooh. There's nothing closer. Nothing safe. Well, is this, uh, Dr. Selvig? Mr. Stellan Skarsgård? Where are we at? It is him. All right, buddy. Give me a beat. I wonder if his name's Ben. Hey. What are you doing? Why are you watching me sleep? Why do we need comms? Who does the voice for him? Going is of a bad idea. We need to get back. I'm just gonna wonder where you are. Gotta love his relationship to droids, right? I wonder if we get K2SO in this. Like, toward, probably towards the end it would be, I would guess. She sees he's gone. He's got a little bantha. A little bantha doll. What is that? Oh, that's his... Uh, that's his little staff. From when he was a kid. Right here. Not Imperials. Oh, he's gonna be alive. It's gonna be a jump scare. Ooh. Oh. Oh, they look human, but their skin's yellow. Oh, somebody is alive. That's the guy she passed. Oh no! Oh, they're blow dart. Blow dart sticks. And calm down, man. You got tagged up with darts. Wow. Oh, she's not dead. Oh, no. That's when it started. Spark that flame. Canary. Mid rim. Mid rim. Abandoned after Imperial mining disaster. Mining. Everyone died. Oh. Abandoned and considered toxic imperial prohibition. Toxic, but he was fine? Better be ready in an hour. Keep the engine running. How's he gonna get 200 credits? Whoa, what is that thing? I've not seen that before. I'll give some. You guys, do you guys like my piping on my uniform? I got piping in pockets. Come on, man. Comes a time when the the risk of doing nothing becomes the greatest risk of all. It's one of those precious moments, and I can't imagine not seeing that. Very inspiring. And uh, justice. Yeah, they're not buying in. Best of luck to us all. Ah. Charge. Inspiring. <laughs> Inspiring. That's what I said. You're not ready for this. Who are you? Is he the buyer? You know what they say? No one's there. If you can't find it here, it's not worth finding. All right. Hell yeah. Like the music. No! Come on! These episodes are so short. This this is going to really suck when this show goes week to week because at the end of the episode I just want more. That that came up so fast at the end. But really cool. I really like the world they're building here. Uh, it's very, very cool. I feel like it's very immersive. Uh, it's very street level. You know, it's not the big space battles stuff from the movies. This is very local. I mean, we're going to have nine weeks of weekly episodes. Hopefully they get a little bit longer. But I'm guessing that they're probably going to sit around the 30 to 40 minute range, which I means it's cool, but it's 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 like the show is a slow burn, but it goes so quick, if that makes sense. They're putting the pieces in place. Right now, you know, you've got um, K2 
Captain, Captain Piping taking his band of <laughs> uninspired gentlemen down to uh, search for Cassian. You know, I've got Cassian uh, working towards getting off of getting off planet. So I'm guessing that Stellan Skarsgård is the buyer that she was talking about. Uh, that he's coming. So we'll see. Uh, I mean, I'm interested in his character just from the trailer. He seems like kind of somebody who was in a place of power, um, but is also working to, with the rebellion. Um, based on what I like, like I said, based on what I saw in the trailer. So I'm, I'm interested to see his character. I really, I really like him as an actor. So everything that I've seen him in is really. I mean, he's just. It seems like he's always himself. He's just co a cool guy. We are getting. We did get a little bit more insight on um, Cassian as a child. That ship that had fallen. I don't know if it seems exactly like a transport ship or if they were carrying something. You know, since their skin was yellow, is that something from the toxins we saw? That gas kind of pouring out of the wreckage. Um, they did say it was a mining disaster on there. So is it related? I'm kind of. I, I need some more information on that planet. So hopefully we get a little more resolution in the third episode. So like why was, they said it was toxic, but how did all those kids live through there? Or maybe that was just, uh, we see that they are big on cover up stories like the uh, murder of the, when Cassie and, uh, when Cassie and Merc, those two dudes. My theory is that, you know, those kids were the survivors, uh, from whatever happened at that mining plant. And that's why they're just kind of like a small tribal little group that are just, uh, just trying to trying to make it so yeah it'll be um i, I do want to see more of that that story give, give me more of that uh, i'm ready to get into episode three so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure that you hit that like hit that subscribe hit that bell you know what to do i'll see you in the next one